Hey everybody, Dan Rubino here with Windows Central. I just want to give you guys a quick look here at a few new apps available for HoloLens made by independent developers. This first one is going to be called HoloTube. What makes it interesting, it's the first uh, YouTube application that is built for the HoloLens experience. Now you can run other Windows 10 YouTube apps on HoloLens and they play just fine, but this one is just a built a little bit more cleanly. It's meant to be used as sort of like with HoloLens in, in mind. Uh, so we're going to go here into popular. I'm going to load up the last week tonight video. And the thing to look out for is how there's no borders to the video. It's a straight video and you can put it on your wall and it looks really cool and looks like a big TV. Now you can't resize the video, which is a downside. Debt. It's the reason Nicolas Cage has made so many great choices in recent years. But it really, really looks nice. Hopefully I'll be able to resize this later on if the developer uh, updates this app. There's not a, a whole lot you can do right now. You can't log into your account, for instance. So there's just these pre-made playlists, but they're sort of pretty good topics. Another neat thing is this 360 video. So you can do 360 videos on HoloLens. Now, not quite as immersive as VR, and I should point out, HoloLens shoots at 720p video, which is why this doesn't look very good. Uh, it's doing, don't forget, holograms and video recording at the same time, so that's a lot of processing. Uh, and then it uses what I think is image stabilization, which reduces at 720p even further. So I get a stable image, but the resolution's really low. 360 videos already don't look good on HoloLens. I, don't think you can control the um, the resolution of them, which is a bit of a downside. So this already looks blurry when I'm not recording. It's going to probably look even worse while recording, but I'll, it still gives you the idea of what to expect. It's kind of a neat thing. Hoi, ik ben Bibi. Ik ben Anne. En welkom in Walibi Holland. Yes. Vandaag gaan wij de achtbaan in, namelijk de Express achtbaan. Ja, het is fucking lekker weer. Ik zou zeggen, kijk even mee. Het is een 360 graden video, dus links en rechts boven naar beneden klikken. Woo! Kom maar mee. Yeah. So it doesn't look very good, but uh, definitely a neat experience. Hopefully this app will get a little bit better. Uh, I can't even close it from here, which is kind of strange. I have to bring up the start menu and do it that way. So definitely some limitations, but uh, kind of a neat app for sure. So that's HoloTube. Uh, another neat thing here is called HoloLens Helper. Now this isn't a very exciting app, but it's a very useful app. So you can see here, I have 41 gigs of storage left, 23% battery left, about 36 minutes. It shows my local IP address, and that's super important for devs who need to connect to HoloLens remotely. Um, you can also use this really nifty uh, app here from Microsoft for HoloLens on Windows 10 Mobile and Windows 10 PCs. It allows you to basically control video recording and um, manage memory on the device, close apps and stuff. So um, that's what that's for, really important. Of course, it shows me it connected to Wi-Fi. So useful app here, nothing too exciting, but if you're a developer, you're definitely going to want to pick that up. Finally here, if I have enough time, I'm going to show you Hollow Blocks. So this is another, just kind of a cool concept app, I think. So I'm going to put this here, we'll launch it. Now this also uses Unity, as you can see, and it's actually a very simple app. It just shows you sort of the physics that can be done. So it needs to scan my room first, and then when I'm done, I hit finish. And now I'm going to put this down. And now I can basically just put <laughs> blocks all over the place here. And then you can also do things like um, you can pick and stack them. And then you can knock them over too. So it's just kind of neat to watch the physics of how this is all working. Now this is actually, these blocks are falling very slowly because it's doing a lot of processing while recording. It actually goes a lot more quickly. That's actually an interesting byproduct, but yeah, you can switch shapes and do all these kind of things. So, uh, and then I can clear it all out if I wanted to. Uh, let's see if I can do that. So uh, nothing too amazing hollow box, but really kind of neat proof of concept. Uh, and it goes to show you just how powerful HoloLens can be. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Head to Windows Central for more information. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. Take care, buddy.